Hey there. I'm currently out in a park with my Opus Mega One and a few solar panels. It's, uh, it's getting to be winter and I'm getting cold. So let me quickly show you how to connect your solar panels to your power station. This will work whether you're connecting one solar panel or multiple. So when you first receive your solar panels, it will have a plastic cover on the outside. Make sure you remove this, otherwise the efficiency of the panel will be affected. Each Opus solar panel includes two MC4 connectors and a DC7909 connector. Each Mega Series power station accepts solar input through an Anderson connector. So let's start connecting some wires. First, connect your provided MC4 to Anderson cable to your solar panel. You'll need to plug both MC4 connectors in, matching red to red and black to black. Next, open up the input side cover and simply plug in the Anderson cable, matching up the colors for the right orientation. Power on, and the spinning wheel tells you that you're charging. Now, if you want to connect multiple solar panels to charge even faster, take the red MC4 connector from one solar panel and connect it to the black MC4 connector on the other. You can continue to chain solar panels together in this way for as many as you have that your power station can accept. Then, complete the loop, connecting the two remaining MC4 connectors to the provided MC4 to Anderson cable, matching red to red and black to black. It should look something like this. Finally, once again, simply plug in the Anderson cable to your power station, and powering on will show you that the system is working. If you want to use third-party solar panels not from Opus, you'll need to keep a few things in mind. First, take note of the open circuit voltage of your solar panel. This is different from the maximum operating voltage. Next, take note of the maximum input voltage of your power station. Make sure that the total of the open circuit voltage of your solar panels does not exceed the maximum input voltage of your power station. For example, the Mega One can take up to 800 watts and 12 to 80 volts for solar input. This means that 80 volts is the maximum solar input voltage for the Mega One. Our 240 watt Opus solar panels have an open circuit voltage of 24.6 volts. Doing some quick math, this means that the Opus Mega One can accept a maximum of three 240 watt Opus solar panels. Now, if you're worried about amperage or wattage going over, don't worry. If you do happen to go over the wattage or the amperage that the power station can accept, it's no different from plugging in a 5 amp hair dryer into a 15 amp outlet. The hair dryer is going to use the 5 amps either way. The other 10 amps are just simply not going to be used. All that being said, for the best adaptability and the most consistent performance, we highly recommend that you use Opus solar panels for Opus power stations. Now, when using our power stations, we have a few other quick tips to leave you with. First, make sure that you orient your solar panel so it's facing towards the sun, and try to make sure that it's not covered by shade. This can reduce the efficiency of the solar panel. Also, we don't recommend leaving the solar panels outdoors for long periods of time, as this will reduce the lifespan of the solar panel. Make sure you bring your solar panels in and clean them regularly. And that's it. You should hopefully have all of your solar panels connected up now, and it should have been an absolute breeze. This is the first part to a series that we're doing for new users. So if you have any questions you'd like us to cover in a video, let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.